man on my left, I've got a blade wing arm on my right. Uh, we're listening in, hopefully all the guys are forming this up. So let's go for a quick uh, power shot. First of all, a quick word about the Takano, Matt. So yeah, it's the uh, very final public display for the Takano this weekend, so it's very special for us to display it to the public one final time. Uh, we're excited to have it here and we're looking very forward to this special moment. Super! And uh, Arthur, what are your boys doing mixing with uh, this Takano? What's the story behind that? Well, it's a theme that we've actually seen a few times over the last season, over the summer months this year, as uh, the Blades enjoying flying alongside other different types of aeroplanes. And as like Matt's Takano, uh, this will be the last season that we see the Blades as well, actually, by the extra 300. Ah, well, look up to the right. So, uh, let's say, uh, Arthur, lead us through this for a moment, then we'll, for the first pass, and then we go back to Matt. So, Arthur, over to you. Absolutely. So, we can see the Takano there, the larger, dark aircraft. It's a turboprop aeroplane, and you've got my blades on the left and right of his wings. So, there's a four ship, the blades display team, a single engine aeroplane, and you're, I don't know what the makeup of the, uh, the aircraft would be, but I'd imagine it'll be blade one directly off the left hand wing of the Takano and blade two on the outside and then blade three and four on the right hand side of the wing and uh, the extra 300 really is an amazing aeroplane being able to do close aerobatic formation flying and that's one thing that the blades pilots really thrive at doing as well okay thanks for that right back to matt now then because uh, i'm hoping we're going to get one more pass here matt tell us a bit about uh, this special aircraft why is it going and uh, what they're doing here today what's the connection between all five of them well, so the Takano itself is uh, 30 years old and it's coming towards the end of its service, hence why we're displaying it. Uh, and the reason we've got the aircraft mixed formation with the Blades today is that we are both sponsored by the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund. Now, the RAFBF um, provides services to uh, current serving and ex-military personnel from the Royal Air Force. Uh, we're both sponsored by them, so the uh, Blades and the Takano team have very proudly been sponsored by them this year. And if you look closely at the belly of the Takano aircraft now as it passes back in front of us, you may be able to notice on the belly of the aeroplane is the Royal Air Force Benevolent Funds logo. Here we go. It's an RF rounder with the heart in the middle. And on the left and right wings, you'll see 1919 and 2019, celebrating together 100 years of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund. I think last year the uh, Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund supported 53,000 families, uh, both serving uh, Air Force members and also veterans as well. And their goal this year is to increase that to 100,000 members and families supported. And uh, they want you guys, you folks watching the display and the fly past here, to get involved as well and actually help them achieve that goal. If you know of anybody who has been a part of the Royal Air Force at any point uh, in the past or is currently still serving, who you think needs a bit of a helping hand in life, or in whatever capacity, uh, then point them in the direction of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund, and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to help. Okay, well, thanks for that, Arthur. You take a short break now, because I think uh, you need to prepare yourself. I believe the blades are going first, and then, Matt, what can we expect after that? Well, after that, we'll be 